Hello again fellas, it's me again. Just another quick video today. Uh, we're going to look at this old computer power supply, which I used to use uh, a long time ago. Uh, it was always a good power supply, it was very quiet and it gave me good stable voltages even when I was overclocking the system. But when I built a uh, computer, a new one, uh, I put it into storage, didn't want to bin it. Uh, but when I dragged it out for the project and plugged it in and switched it on, the capacitors blew up. Loads of smoke came out and I can still smell it now. Now I'm a right cheapskate, and I'll, uh, so I refuse to buy a new one even though I could probably pick one up cheap. I'm a right tight ass, that's why I've got loads of money, so I'm going to see if I can try and fix it. So let's whip that cover off and see if it's repairable. Right, we've uh, got the cover off, so let's see if we can find our culprit. And then depending on how easy it is to get that board out, I might see if we can uh, just replace it instead of buying a new PSU. It would be cheaper in the long run. So, let's have a look. Yeah, there's our culprit right there. I don't recognise that brand. It's probably one of those mysterious Chinese ones. But never mind. I'll have to make an order to RS Components. I might as well do every single capacitor on there, just to be safe. It's cheaper than buying a new PSU. It's a shame really because I used to use this about five or six years ago, maybe even longer than that, and it was a decent PSU. Never mind. Right, I've uh, found another few capacitors, which are the same type and brand, and uh, they're also looking a bit unhealthy. The one in the foreground there, there's a bit of residue on top, and the one in the background, that one looks like it's slightly bulged. So I'll just change these three. All the other ones are a different brand, they all look okay, so... Right, we've removed all that shite, and we're going to replace them with these, proper high quality Panasonics. Don't think we'll have much problem with these. Get the soldering iron out. Right, there we are, all the new capacitors are in, they're slightly larger than the originals, and it was quite a squeeze trying to get them all in there, but we should be good to go. Let's power it up and see if any more magic smoke comes out. Right, we've got it all back together and we're almost uh, ready to power it up. Let me just say, getting all these cables back through that little hole was a fucking prick of a job. Anyway, if anybody ever has to uh, power up a computer power supply outside of the PC, the easiest way to do it is to get the main ATX power connector, short out the green pin with any black one, and that'll trigger it on. So this is it. Moments of truth. Let's put power to it and see what happens. Will it work? Will it not? Will the smoke come out? Let's find out. And it works. I'll run this for about half an hour and if no smoke comes out I'll get the multimeter out and I'll check the voltage. If that checks out okay I'll get the oscilloscope out, check the ripple and if that's okay I'll put it in service. But, I think that's uh, pretty much fixed. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Bye bye.